Are we live? Hello, hello, hello. Test, test, audio test, test, test. All right, nice, we're live. Hold on, let me fix my mic real quick. There we go, it's a bit better. Okay, hello everybody, hello VOD watchers. Love the VOD watchers. Um, give me a sec, I should tweet really quick. I'm getting better at typing on this keyboard. Um, I think the switches actually do, you know, make like typing on my keyboard, like a different, exp basically a different experience kind of, kind of eats each, can I speak right now? Like different switches, you know, equals a different typing experience. So Cherry MX Blues, I was able to type very, very easy, you know, as I was like, I was a speed master. And then on the Gator on Ye Milky Yellows, it's a little bit harder, but I'm getting used to it. Okay, hold on. Um, Reacting to the Nintendo direct and then play what just happened playing Celeste um is that a good title or tweet I mean sure A B O C D O A N D R A. reacting to the Nintendo direct and then playing Celeste so that's the plan for today we'll watch this it's 26 minutes and then I will play Celeste. I have everything pretty much set up. Basically what happened with my, um, whatchamacallit, with my, oh, let me run pre-roll. There we go. Um, basically what happened with my Switch and my Elgato game capture is it stopped working. Like during the Kirby stream, my screen literally like went black and I was not able to like do anything about it. I just had to like wait it out. And um, yeah, yesterday, I think it was, I was gonna stream. It was really hot. Actually, it was the day before yesterday. Yesterday, I didn't stream because it was way too hot to stream. It was like in the 90s, which is really hot for me personally. Um, and then what else? Um, okay, and then I couldn't fix my Elgato, so I, I, I don't know when I'll finish, fully finish Kirby, but I mean, I kind of have. Just, there's the bonus part, which I, I need to watch. I love 90s, that's a day at the spa. What? Oh my God. <laughs> that's horrible weather, that's way too hot. I'm used to like 60. This is a React channel now, it is. Hi Winter, how are you doing today? It literally dropped 30 degrees in like less than 24 hours. It, it's been so weird it's been really weird the weather but um yeah i'm gonna play celeste after we watch this because i promised i'd finish that which i, I was excited i was like um whatchamacallit uh thinking about it and excited to play yeah girl they've been telling us it's global warming right <laughs> oh is that what it is you don't say oh my god I'm used to 10 degrees Celsius and now I'm in 30 to 40. Wait, what is that in Fahrenheit? Wait, 30 to 40? Wait, what? <laughs> what is C? Celsius. Love, be quiet. What? No, I mean like Celsius, you convert it to Fahrenheit, right? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I think 30 is 90 fit jeez i think i the one thing i do know about temperature is that 30 degrees or it's like 32 degrees convert that to celsius it's zero and i think it's like 32 is freezing i don't know <laughs> i'm still not used to this honestly the the change to fahrenheit to, or celsius to fahrenheit must be kind of difficult um but yeah, I, this Nintendo Direct literally, whatchamacallit, literally was at 6 a.m. Who wakes up at 6 a.m.? My non-existent Grandpa Joe. I, I've never had a Grandpa Joe, and I don't know where that came from, but your mom? Oh, okay. She wakes up at 8, love. I'll correct you on that one. 86 to 140 Fahrenheit. Ooh, that sounds horrible yikes but it was yeah it was really weird 
it was like one day it was like 65 and then the next day it was like 90 and it was like it was crazy it's 303.5 15 what <laughs> oh my goodness um not the what is kelvin i was kind of chuckling but i don't know what is kelvin <laughs> should i know what that is triggered actually ptsd what is that something you learned in school not a scientist no i failed high school remember cheated my way into the into college i'm no, just kidding i didn't what's that girl that has the famous parents that like bought her into college like with the rowing club or something and her dad's on shameless or whatever that's me <laughs> I have to know the conversion for C and F L. I have to know the conversion for C and F. <laughs> Nerd emoji. Push yourself glasses. Flattens hair down with hand sweat and rearranges my my pencils and pens inside of my my shirt pocket. <laughs> what? That was a bit too specific. Relax. <laughs> yup. And what about it? Uh... <laughs> yup. And what about it? Um, but yeah, this came out at 6 a.m. And I was like, think I thought about it for one second. And I was like, yeah, that's not gonna happen. I'm not streaming this at 6 a.m. Literally nobody's up 9, 9 a.m. for Eastern time and Central was like, what, eight? Yeah, I don't know about that. But yeah, I'll watch it. I don't I haven't seen anything. I've stayed off of Twitter. And um, oh, hi, Kayla. She was down here. They had a rough yesterday. They were like laying on the floor and they, they like usually my cats kind of like bundle up and stuff, but they were like fully like limbs out on the floor. Name an element, uh, al aluminum, gold, uh, prove yourself. <laughs> uh, uh, there, I, I just named two. I double proved myself. Uh, uh. Metal, I, I don't know, what? <laughs> not her picking name, not her picking, what? Damn, she named two, I know, right? Not her name, picking the rich ones. Not just name, Andrea, I fucked up, what happened? What happened? You got a new name, Nameless. You're not nameless anymore. Metal, I don't know. <laughs> uh, liquid, gas, gas is one, right? Metal? Oh, okay. Gold, aluminum, platinum, isn't that one of them? Isn't diamond one? Uh, rupee from, you know, Zelda. Wait, what? I legit own a small laminated periodic table of elements. Oh, okay. Nerd. <laughs> Gas? Is that not one? That's a, that's like one of the avatar, like, states or whatever. Gas, earth, firebending. Who just went live? Oh. Didn't know I had their noties on. They gave it to us in chemistry in uni. <laughs> I got Hollow Knight for half price and got addicted again. What What did you get it on? Steam? That state of matter, hun. Fire, water, gas. Oh, let's talk about the senses. Sight, I almost said sight and then seeing. Oh my god, eighteen point three in wait eighteen point three hours in three days. Eighteen divided by three. So what is that's set? Wait, eighteen divided. I used to know this. Six. S six hours a day. Oh my god. Yes, DM sixty percent for the whole day. Jeez. Okay, here are the senses. There's seven, right? Taste touch sight did i say taste yeah um wait i messed up sight taste wait sight taste touch smell wait how are there seven literally how are there seven sight taste touch smell That's like, that's like literally it. How are there seven? Sight, taste, touch, smell. Feel? No, that's touch. 
Is it? Is this different than this? I don't know. I like science, not math. I hate math. Even though I took it for like four quarters straight. Not straight, but like the... Not, yeah, not straight, but like the last few... I think it was like four or so times I took just math. Whole bundle. Wait, you got a bundle? Sight, taste, touch... Sight, taste, touch, smell here. Wait, there's only five? Five common the sense I'm not using? <laughs> what is the sixth sense? Wait, why did I think seven? Or is that the seven wonders of the world? Mount Rushmore? That's the one with the president's faces, right? And then, what else? I forgot to clean my nails. Oh, I got a TC snack for later. Wait, what? There's actually way more than five, but that's the common ones. What are the other ones? Seven deadly sins. <laughs> what are the se seven deadly sins? Actually, we probably shouldn't say it. <laughs> Murder. I'm assuming one. Um, that's about it. I bet the seven deadly sins are based. Did I use that term right? I don't fucking know. It's what all the it's what all the conservatives say. Based. Shouldn't say it? Okay, so murder. Well I was gonna <laughs> Uh murder's not that bad. Wait what? Uh okay, how long is this? Twenty six minutes should we start? This'll be a good VOD. How loud is this? Wait, hold on, let me stop the music. Shut up. Okay, let's start this. Ooh, way too bright. Wait, let me turn off the lights. Murder, adultery, grief, lies, something, something. Oh, that's nothing. When mankind oh, whoa, 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 whoa. oh my god. Wait, hold on. <laughs> We're just jumping in. Okay, Capcom. Let me know if it's too loud or too quiet. Mankind is consumed by darkness, and the land falls into chaos. The arch demon of the abyss shall rise from the earth. Oh, okay. They come rushing here in a desperate attempt to survive. What is this? Triangle strategy? Is this triangle strategy? Oh my god. Okay, this is not triangle strategy, I don't think. <laughs> oh, bye, Nameless. Have a good day. Good luck with the work. Oh, Monster Hunter! Yeah, good luck. Griefing, stream sniping, being toxic? Those are the worst things you could do. Is this Monster Hunter? I've never played Monster Hunter. Oh my god. Smack him! It can't be. And these wandering flames shall feed the beast and return to darkness. Oh, that was scary. The story ends. Another begins. Kick some monster booty. Monster, monster booty cheeks. cheeks. Oh my god. Oh yeah, this is Monster Hunter. I recognize that cat and the dog. Oh my god, it's so loud for me. <laughs> yeah! Oh, is that a dinosaur? The music? I don't know if it, like, matches with the gameplay. <laughs> you should try it out at some point. Character creation is pretty good in these games, too. I've thought about it. I'd have to start at kind of, like, the beginning. I'd, I'd want to start at the beginning. I have to buy the DLC later, but not now. Oh my god. Oh, that high note. 
the palette colors, they are so cute. If you like combos, this game would be a game to play. Free title update one. What does that even mean? Oh. Whoa. Seething Basil guys coming August 20. Is that DLC? Oh, this is like, um. The Mario. Mario Kart thing. Okay. Unrelated, but I thought I left my AirPods in Canada and I just found them. Nice! Put them in! Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Is that a game or DLC? Damn winter thing. <laughs> it would be unlucky. Hello everyone. Whoa! Welcome to today's Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. In this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching this year. Is this distracting? And development Is this distracting? Okay, let's get into the headlines. Why are the subtitles so damn humongous? The battle to reclaim Earth begins. DLC girl? Oh, okay. The year is 5012 AD. Machine life forms have overwhelmed the planet, causing the collapse of Wait, civilization. Wait, can you decrease the size? Can you actually? How do you do that? Oh, what the hell? I didn't know you could do all this. Let's turn that down. Oh my god, I turned it up. I did not know you could do that. Oh, wait a minute. I just did the same thing. <laughs> Window color. What does this mean? Oh. Oh my god. Literally, how long? Ooh, you could choose a font. Let's do cursive, of course. Wait, what was the default one? Uh oh. <laughs> Me discovering settings. Okay, this one looks fine. Window opacity. Oh, I like that. Let's do zero. It always bothered me that this there's like this extra edge window. Oh, I just did that. What else is there? Okay, F font color. Oh my god, way too dank. Let's we'll just keep it white. Just make it difficult to read as possible and you're good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Set it to wind wingdings and pink. Okay, let's do that. Background color. Oh gosh. <laughs> Wait, that's kind of cool. Anyways, yeah, me becoming a nerd. Literally, okay, how do I change it back? Okay. I literally had no idea you could you could do that. Okay, that's fine. It's gonna center, right? Because it's like right in the fuck. Like I don't know why it's all, all the way over here. And forcing humans to take refuge. Why is it in the left? Oh, near. Android squad called Yorha. The Wait, literally, how do I center it? <laughs> you can. Oh, whoa. What the? Drag it. I had literally no idea. How did it get all the way over there? <laughs> Drag it. Oh, okay. Humans are prepared to stand against these machine life form invaders. What is near? A battle android 2B. And a scanner android 9S. Oh, okay. Are two key members of this squad. Machine life forms in conflict with androids. What will come of this blood? <laughs> Not the 2B. What did that even mean? Whoa! Battle. Now hold on a minute. Oh my god. <laughs> you just die already! Booty cheeks, this hot robots. The award winning near automata comes with previously released content, including additional modes. Oh, not so hot robots. New costumes Whoa! To the Nintendo Switch version will also be available at launch. Not enjoy being in a robots. Wait a minute. In near automata. Huh? <laughs> edition, launching on the Nintendo Switch system October 6th. Pre-orders begin today. He said Nintendo Switch Nintendo. system. Oh, okay. I thought it was the Xbox. What? Is, so what is that? What is that? I'm gonna have to check it out. Wait, what? Oh, what is this? A maze of deceptions. 
Oh my god. A murder mystery. In case you weren't aware, there's music playing. A palace of memories. There's music playing. I want to play this on my Switch. It's a pretty good game. To oh. immerse yourself in surreal riddles and a chilling story in this modern take on puzzle adventure games. <gasps> Doggy! The other games in the series are bonkers too. <laughs> Whoa! Granny came to life! Sad music intensifies. Solve the enigma of Lorelei and the Laser Eyes, launching first <laughs> Lorelei and the Laser Eyes. I can't remember the name of the guy that makes it, but he made the Dark and Guard the games too. Are making a splash in these games. Making a splash. Whoa! A new Bomberman game is coming to Nintendo Switch. What is Bomberman? A bombastic new mode called Castle Mode enters the fray. He said bombastic. Up to 15 players must blast their way yeah, to treasure chest. that looked interesting. I can't lie. That I like look kind of cool. While one defending player tries to hold them off, set up your defense wisely to blow away opponents. Literally. Blow away these nuts. And share your own battle stages. Have a blast when Super Bomberman R2 launches on Nintendo Switch next year. <laughs> what the heck? Mega Man Battle Network Whoa! Games originally released on the Game Boy Advance system. Are oh, okay. Nintendo Switch. Whoa! Control Mega Man in grid-based combat. Mega Man. Battle chips to gain Never played it. Abilities. This collection includes a gallery with over 1,000 illustrations. Play them all. Oh, okay. Over I could. Across the series. Mega Ain't that the character from Cartoon Mega Network? <laughs> launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Oh, uh, next year. Digitally available as volume one and volume two. Okay, I know, I know the person just said it, but I wasn't paying attention. Did he say every all of the games? Wait, go back. Oh wait, not that far back. Adventure Time. I think he did have a cartoon at one point, but not Adventure Time. Wait, Mega Man Battle One, Two, Three, Three again, Four, Four again, Five, Five again, Six, and Six again. The net looks so deep. released on the Game Boy Advance. It was a gallery with over 1,000 illustrations and a music mode containing over 150 songs from across the series. What am I supposed to do with that? Mega Man Battle Network I'm just kidding. Collection launches on Nintendo Switch next year. The full collection will also be digitally available as Volume 1 and Volume 2, each sold separately. What does that mean? A remake Pac Man! Pac Man World is coming soon. Wow! Pac-Man's family has been kidnapped. Oh no. She looks like an emoji. Sets off for Ghost Island. Eating dots isn't all you can do here. Whoa, that looks cute. Trounce enemies with Pac dots. The rev roll, the butt bounce. That looks yeah. butt bounce. A Ayo. Pac-Man from high speed chases. <laughs> the Pac children. Whoa, Star Wars. All sorts of zany levels. Zany. Pac in Pac-Man World Repack. Launching on Nintendo Switch August 26th. Oh, that's very re that's very like Two unlikely friends. <gasps> One incredible journey. A fawn and a wolf cub must work together to find a way home across the snowy wilderness in the handcrafted world of Blanc. Oh, that wolf has a big head. Did you say wolf? In this emotional adventure, these unlikely friends must coordinate <gasps> and use their Whoa! individual strengths to solve environmental puzzles and navigate through the frigid wilds. Blanc is a completely text-free story with local and online co-op play, so all players can enjoy it. That's cute. And that's how I met your mother. What? Forge an unexpected bond in Blanc. Blanc. Ah. Launching as a console exclusive on Nintendo Switch, February 2023. Alrighty then. Whoa. The swashbuckling adventure returns. That felt like a hate crime. <laughs> Pirate yeah, that looks cute. My blood, like adrenaline or stale grog. I've been in enough scraps to fill a dozen scrapbooks. I've got stories about ships, fights, love, treasure, betrayal, love, and root beer. Love, what are you doing in this game? That has all of the above. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. And this is a story about the time I finally found 
the secret of Monkey Island. Whoa, I like the art style. <laughs> Surprise! Ew, what the? Guy brush three wood. Oh, nice. <laughs> Surprise! I want to hear the stories about love. Hmm. Can't tell if this is gameplay or not. It looks like a little bit was, like for five seconds. Turn to Monkey Island. 2022. This looks this like a point. And click? I have no idea. What is to this? Monkey Island, launching first for consoles on Nintendo Switch this year. Next, we have some news about a game that was announced last June. Please take a look. June. Wait a minute. Mario and the Rabbit. Whoa! Stop for a galactic adventure in the latest Mario plus Rabbit's game. Oh yeah, I heard about that. This is not centered. It's bothering me. Space is in a universe of trouble when otherworldly enemies suddenly appear. Their goal? Take the Why is it so high on the screen? These mysterious creatures. Now our heroes must set Rabbits. up to save them. A new adventure of epic I never played those ways. games, but they look cute. Good for rabbit players. You'll initiate a turn-based battle. Rabbit and Mario. Counter an enemy. Before we begin, here's something you ought to know. You can freely move around the battlefield as much as you'd like within your character's range before using their weapon. Pretty neat, huh? What? Let's start with Mario. Three enemies are in the way, so let's dash into one of them. <laughs> this now is very interesting. Rabbit Rosalina and have her dash into another. Next, Rabbit Luigi. Rabbit Luigi? One more dash, and now Disruptor time! And now they fucking die. What? By using a dash first. Then the weapon. They literally the enemies were wiped out. They they that fucking died. They actually did. Over. The Back black smoke. This game is violent. The other two. Pew, pew. That concludes his turn. Last pew, pew. but not least, Rabbit Rosalina. Team up with an ally and jump. Get this looks so choppy. Like the video. The okay, our turn's over. And now, the enemy attacks. Be sure to take cover, and you might be safe. If you don't, it won't be pretty. Alright, we've got the floor again. Wait, is that what this game is? Like a back and forth turn thing? Boom! That'll do it. Like take turns type thing? The key to victory is how you assemble your team and navigate around the battlefield. Wait, is that Bowser? And he's joining the team? <laughs> Mario plus Rabbids, Sparks of Hope, rockets onto the Nintendo Switch system October 20th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Oh, wow. That's pretty... Check it's in a couple months. For more details Why are the Mario subtitles so high on the screen? Oh my god. There we go. It's like... We hope you're looking forward to the chaotic adventures of Mario and the Rabbits. Let's take a look at more headlines. There's something for everyone on Nintendo Switch. I don't know about that one. We'll see. During a storm, young alchemist Noah crash lands in ancient ruins. The layout of these multi-layered ruins changes. What is this? Little Noah? Recruit allies called Lilliputs to challenge the enemies lurking around every corner. String together combos and perform powerful elemental attacks to defeat foes. Okay. Little Noah, Scion of Paradise, launches a Nintendo Switch. Is this a new game? I can't. I, I don't know. Oh, later today. Oh my goodness. I think it's always so cool when 
in the management sim Railgrade. You know, when games release the same day, they're announced, kind of. Transport cargo and help restore economic prosperity to an industrial colony. I think my cousin would like that game. To prepare each shipment before it's delivered to its destination. Your strategies will change based on various factors, like the number and length of trains to run, which resources to acquire, and how to transport <laughs> cargo from point A to point B. Railgrade. Hype epi economic prosperity. <laughs> Join aspiring game creator Couldn't be me. in a hand-drawn adventure to save the world in his latest creation, The Legend of Right. Taking place in Kenta's notebook, this RPG spans over 200 ah, pages. Ah, RPG, love him more RPG. Solve puzzles and even consult I'm out here economically suffering. A new way to play every time. <laughs> or nor. RPG time. The Legend of Right unfolds on to Nintendo Switch August 18th. Hey, what? They said RPG and on Nintendo e something else. MMORPG. Yeah, I don't know about Oh. a new zone. Okay. Sonic's latest action adventure kicks off just the RPG yeah I want to see this one civilization I'm gonna be quiet now here you can freely dash through a vast open zone taking full advantage of Sonic's speedy skills the land is literally so barren lock on and attack enemies standing in your way chain together attacks to trigger combos and rack up damage with good timing you can even deflect enemy attacks. Acquire skills to bolster Sonic's arsenal of moves. Uh, RPG can be a rocket launch to- I know that! Enter a special zone called Cyberspace. Whoa. Challenges at supersonic speeds and grab keys to progress. Whoa! Speedy boy. Speedy Gonzalez. What awaits Sonic on these strange islands? Pog cyberspace. Whoa. Sonic Frontiers dashes. I don't know. Holiday. This holiday. We like to some. I don't know. <laughs> Mixed feel. Oh wow. Alongside your Disney and Pixar friends. Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. Dreamlight Valley was once an idyllic Elsa. Land where Disney and Pixar characters lived in harmony, until the forgetting turned this dream into a nightmare. Now. It's up to you to help these iconic residents recover their <gasps> it's lost memories. Daffy D I don't know. That led you here. What's his name? Bring the magic back to It's Elsa in this mesmerizing life simulation adventure. Explore this land's many diverse realms. Oh my god. Lasting friendships with heroes and Pause. I just want to say this this actually looks kind of fun. Until the Fire Nation attacked. Wait, this like I'm just saying if I grew up with this, I'd be all over this. This looks kind of fun. I'll still play it probably. We'll have personal stories to discover and adventures to complete. Help them out by exploring. Like this will make a hell of an online online game. In this world, you can Phoenix's sister? Why is Buzz Lightyear so tiny? Oh, I guess he is kind of tiny. Valley launches on Nintendo Switch September 6th as an early access title. Like this gives Pixie Hollow like Club Penguin vibes. Live Alive is coming alive on July 22nd. Buzz Lightyear's new Multiple movie. Stories <laughs> different protagonists. Oh, whoa. And gameplay await. Now in HD 2D. People were so mad about that movie. Just because two women kissed in it. Twilight of Edo, Japan. I'm like, are you serious? The future will be available on Nintendo eShop later today. Save data from the demo can be transferred to the full game once purchased. Doraemon. They mad about that in general? Yeah, true. On an unknown planet and decide to help a new friend oh. fulfill his dreams by farming. Plow the <laughs> they can stay mad, true. And tend to the animals. You can even use Doraemon's secret gadgets to farm in a flash. I've seen Doraemon's that little. What is that? A cat? Eating delicious meals. And Cute. Fishing. And with local play, Whoa, you and a pal friends. Can build a ranch together. I don't have any of those. Doraemon, Story of Seasons, Friends of the Great Kingdom launches on the Nintendo Switch system this year. I've seen that. I don't know what it, it where it's from Minecraft. though. Minecraft. Action strategy gameplay in Minecraft Legends. Oh wait a minute. What is Beautiful this? This looks like that. 
arc pixel game. Whoa, look at that jungle! By enemies from another dimension. Oh my gosh. Team up with allies. Wait, this looks kind of cool. This force threatening the world. What secrets await in this new game? Oh, wait a minute. I was trying to figure out what looked different. Because it looks similar, but different. But it's because it's in third person. Familiar universe. Minecraft Legends launches on Nintendo Switch next year. New Minecraft just dropped? That looks kind of cool. It's a treasure hunter's paradise. Wait. Two siblings dream of collecting grand treasures from around the world. Venture to the realm of Draconia to become legendary. Wait, Dragon Quest? What is this? Is this Dragon Quest? Dragon I Quest I knew it. It looked like it. A variety of well-mannered monsters to join you on a marvelous adventure. I thought it looked like it. Okay. Locating loot will be a breeze. I love this series. I have travel buddies for exploring this vast world. Bounce on a slime to reach high ledges. Or dangle from a drachy to glide. Oh my god, Zelda. Support your monsters in battle as they fearlessly fight. Bring your hard-earned haul back to your base and see how much it's worth. Collect more riches to expand your base and increase your Whoa, five that million. When Dragon Quest Treasures oh. Nintendo Switch December Ooh. 9th. I played Dragon Quest Builder Dragon Builder Quest 2. I don't know what it's called. And then I played like a little bit of it and I liked it. Whoa! Fire Emblem Warriors. Can't mistake the character design and what and that music. Uh, yeah, true, true. Oh, what is this? Is this No Man's Sky? What is this? A Plague Tale Requiem! I need to play the first uh, Plague Tale. I think I have it, actually, on Steam, but I never played it. Oh, this is just like... Okay. Yeah, No Man's Switch. For, I've never played it, but apparently it's good. I thought... um. Oh... I thought they already announced that, though. I played this series since I was a kid. Oh, that's fun. Portal? Portal on Switch? Didn't we already have this? Or is this Portal 2? <gasps> oh! Panel col- pen What? Well... <laughs> I thought this was already on Switch, though. Let's get started. Huh. Monster. I've never played Fire Emblem, but it looks kind of cool. Farm, fight, and forge friendships How much time is left? Oh, I want them to end on a banger. Welcome to Leafy, a peaceful village where seasons Ooh, pretty. This looks like Pokemon, kind of. Here Pokemon Zelda. Life simulation RPG. Oh, life simulation RPG. Eh. Cook and craft items. And trek through the fields to collect materials. All while meeting hmm. townsfolk. Ooh, the way. I like meeting townsfolk. The seasons gently flow from This kind Yeah, this looks cool. Fall and winter. <gasps> oh, winter. However, winter mute. It will give way to the season of death. Quietus. Quietus. Crops wither. Life is threatened. Uh oh. <laughs> Winter oh snap. Find a way to stop the season of death from wreaking havoc on your home. I could maybe get into this. When they said like planting sim, I was like, is that it? But it looks like there's some other stuff. The fate of the village depends on you. It kind of reminds me of my time at Porsche a little. But Begin your new life in Harvestella. Okay. Launching on Nintendo Switch November 4th. November 4th. It this gave next segment will be our last announcement. Wait, shut up for a second. Please take a look. It reminded me of my time at Porsche, like the same kind of vibes, but obviously different art style. November is so far away. Yeah. But at least it's this year. Please be a banger. Please be something good. Mission start. Take your heart. What? Coming at ya! I'm Morgana, 
reigning ace of the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Oh my god, he's screaming. And today, I'm bringing along an ultra Oh, Persona? Video. Persona 5. On October 21st, 2022, we will ready. steal your heart on Nintendo Switch. I don't like Morgana. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Okay. Yeah, people really wanted Persona 5 on the Switch. Persona 5 Royal will launch on the Nintendo Switch October 21st. Oh my. Not the hand being the grab hand. <laughs> That's not all. Let's keep the ball rolling. Huh, Teddy? <laughs> Righto! Nice baton pass, Morgana. Okay, everyone. Check. Oh my god. This out. P5 Royal? Is that what it's called? Persona 4 Golden? What does that mean? Is that a game that's not on Switch? Coming to Switch 2? Better bear leave it! Persona 4 Golden and Persona 3 Portable are also coming! Nice. Have those never been on Switch then? Oh, okay. I think so. I know this one person I... PS! What is that? What? Keep your eyes peeled Whoa! The subtitles keep moving That's and it bothers me. Nintendo Direct Mini okay. Thank you for watching. Teddy over Morgana. Okay, is Teddy the one on the right? Wow. The Minecraft one looks cool. Sonic looks eh, looks alright. Oh, and the Monster Hunter one looked kind of cool as well. Wow, so that's it. Because they're deaf in Steam. Yes, I've never been on Switch. Oh, that's exciting. I, I know this one Nintendo Switch YouTuber was very excited for Persona 5. I, I've never played that series, but it actually looked kind of cool. Like, the the city part, where was it? Wait, hold on. I'm turning the subtitles off now. There we go. Morgana, reigning ace of the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. I'm hyped for Dragon Quest, Nier on Switch, and Blanc, and Harvest... Uh, Harvest... Yeah. Wait, is that the game we just watched? It's worth playing, it'd be fun to watch you play Persona 5. That part really, like, this part here kind of intrigued me. Like, the city. Oh, that's cool. It looks kind of open-worldy a little. I, I can't really tell. Like, the playstyle, but... It looks interesting. Oh my god, stop talking, please. That's the last one, yeah. Yeah, and you get to... up. Wait, you get to up your main guy's stats? This is a main guy? He's kind of... Eyes emoji. Booba. What? Okay, what else is there? So, dragon... Wait, what is this one? Monster Hunters? That's DLC... I, I I remember watching on the H3H2 podcast, Ethan said that he played that game or something. <laughs> and it kind of made me interested. A Maze of Deception looked kind of cool. I can't really... Wait, it was a puzzle game, right? It's not super open world, but you can choose what to do with your free time. I'd want to explore the city, like that area, if possible. What, Monster Hunter? Is that what it's called? Monster- Yeah, I think it was Monster Hunter that he played. No, 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 not- Am I saying that right? Near? He played Monster Hunter Rise, I think? And then I saw somebody play. I recognized that cat. I recognized the cat, because you can make your own cat, right? Near? Oh, okay. But he played Monster Hunter something. Monster Maybe he played Monster Hunter Rise. And then... I've never played... What is this? Mega Man or something? Friends. One incredible yeah, I think it was Monster Hunter Rise. A fun and a wolf this look cute. 
That looked pretty cute. If it's like a short little three hour game, I, I would love to play that. Unexpected bond in Blanc. Blanc, that's what it's called. Launching as if it was on the Switch, it was right. Yeah, 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 it was. He said it was on the Switch. Oh, next year. I don't know if I had any interest in this one. I couldn't really get a vibe, if I'm being honest. She just pulled that out of her cleave? Cleavage? <laughs> the art style's cute, but I couldn't really get a sense of what it was. Monkey Island? Monkey around this June. Off for a galactic adventure in the latest Marvel okay. Plus Rabbit game. One that I was really surprised that I thought was kind of cool was... Okay, the Minecraft one looked actually sick, I can't lie. Beautiful land surrounded by rich nature is invaded by enemies from another dimension. It looks kind of more RPG-ish. Is that the right term? I think. And then where was that one? This one. Not Portal, but... Fantasy world. Oh, my nerves. This one looks so cute. Like, the seasons? I'm sold. I love a game with seasons. Life simulation. Do a little farm work. Cook and craft items. And trek through the fields to collect materials. Yeah, he, he said life simula simulation, and I, for some reason, heard farm simulation, and I was like, are you serious? I was like, this has so much potential, but then he said farm, but he said life. But yeah, this one looks fun. It kind of looks like Zelda-y, My Time at Porsche-y, Sardu-ish-y. I just want to customize my character and, like, see the creatures. Yeah, it looks very, it looks pretty cool. It looks very cool. That's the game name? Quietus? Crops wither. Life is threatened. Find a way to stop the season of Insert death. game name and ri what? Uh, e? Insert game name me? <laughs> do I do that a lot? Like summary? I do do that, huh? Begin your new life. Harvestella. Launching on Nintendo Switch November 4th. That looks cute. You did? <laughs> like, um, what's another example? I remember I had this friend in high school, and I used to say, It's toasty in here. Oh, I didn't tweet out my link, stupid ass. Oh, well, let me delete it. Let me re-delete it, actually, because I pretty much, okay. I would say it's toasty and she would always point it out. <laughs> this uh, next segment will be our last announcement. <gasps> Ooh, I want to play my the Minecraft one. That looks fun. So that was it. I don't know how I felt about it if I'm being honest. When I heard partner showcase, I was like, "Oh, brother." I was expecting like a full 45 minute like real not a mini direct but like a real direct yeah it was all right i it's the halfway point of the year like they do one of these you know at the start of the year that was that was a that was a pretty good direct and you know i was expecting some stuff about splatoon like an update and maybe a zelda update some other stuff like i was expecting like a real real like direct but i was so hyped for street fighter 6 if you haven't seen the tour oh i have i think i saw it at the was it at the ps playstation state of play one i think i saw i never really got into street fighter but i know it's like a classic splatoon's fun yeah, I usually play online mode every one, like every year once at least. But it's a fun one. I'd recommend it. Kind of hyped for this one. Oh, the the new Street Fighter. Yeah, it looked cool. It looked like it had some open worldiness to it when I watched it. I'm excited for Resident Evil Four, 
that's coming out next year, I think. That was announced at the PlayStation State of Play and some other stuff. Ugh. I honestly, I don't know. I, I think I kind of like PlayStation State of Play better than Nintendo Directs, if I'm being completely honest. I don't know. I just feel like PlayStation, like the State of Plays, have more story type games, which is kind of what I'm into. Like, for example, like Days Gone and... um horizon zero dawn uh and what else um the last of us part two they announce more of those style of games i feel like more often if that makes sense i don't know and then nintendo i feel like i'm more used to okay wait let me re let me explain myself different okay so like i feel like um playstation will release like a story type game kind of like days gone or horizon zero dawn or whatever and then, you know, I'll watch it and I'll be like, okay, I could get into this. You know, I like those type of games. It doesn't take much to convince me, you know. But with Nintendo, yeah, they're more fa family games. Like, seeing, like, the Mario vs. Rabbits, you know, I'd probably like it. But it, I don't know, it takes a little more for me to get into it. I'm more of the big games like Zelda or Mario or those type of games. I feel like I'm more open-minded with PlayStation games than I am Nintendo games, if that makes sense. So I was, like, really hoping for the halfway point of the year, like, big Nintendo Direct to announce some big stuff, which I think a lot of people were really hoping for that, and we kind of didn't get that. We got a mini, like, a partner showcase. Ugh. I was hoping for a big Direct, but... You know, it was alright. There's some fun games that I might look at and stuff. But it said there's something for everything, but I kind of feel like that's not 100% true. But yeah, that was a Nintendo Direct. I'd rate it maybe like a... This is kind of low, but like a 5 or a 6. But, you know, it's still fun to watch one. I definitely don't think it would... Like, if I watched this at 6am, it would not have been worth it. I would have been pissed after, because I would have been tired and just like, really? But... Yeah, maybe five or six out of ten. Yeah.